everybody. Okay. I'd like to start the emergency select board meeting for July 14th, 2023 at 5.05 p.m. So the meeting needs to be called to order. Do I have a rule? Seconded. Mm -hmm. All right, so the meeting is called to order. Uh, we are open for public comment. And this is where I start to sit down and write some notes. Anybody got tomatoes? So if you, if you all decide you want to talk about, you want to hear what these guys have to say before you have your complaints that... I think that would be a great idea to hear from them. I just have one. All right. Why didn't we use road detour signs? So people would know to go to Foster Hill, to Dog Pond, to Wheeler Hill. Because uh, we didn't know where which road was open. I mean, it's, okay. it's a lot of miles. Yep. And uh, it all happened at once. I okay. can help him cover that. It was a pretty dynamic situation. Okay. I have to make a call. Holy shit. You guys have done the best you can. And I am telling you. Yes. I do. Nice work, gentlemen. Right now, as I speak, but um, I'm saying, yeah, I guess I'm going to see you. If I look tired, if I am. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely great. Yep, great work. What do you yeah. think? Public comment or? Um, I'm sorry. I'm so we're going to, per Diana Peduzzi's comments, we will put public comment on for a moment. And Alfie, would you mind just going ahead? and giving us a, a breakdown? Um, sure. As far as I know, all of our roads are passable, with the one exception of Lake Hill Road. I worked all afternoon on that and discovered that it's a uh, stone culvert, mm. and it's very shallow, full of, full of debris. Mm. So we're going to have to replace that culvert. On this end of Lake Hill Road? Yeah, yeah on the village side. Yeah. Um, it it, because of it being plugged, it washed out a big hole in the road mm. there. And so I was intent, that was an attempt of fixing the <coughs> hole and also getting the culvert working. Because mm. you can't really fix the washout until the water stops and gets going where it's supposed to be. Mm. So that was my large attempt today, uh, this afternoon, one of the large attempts. <laughs> Uh, we have also been very fortunate to be able to get some stone riprap from the quarry, mm -hmm. which is what we're putting in the very bottom of these deep ditches that we are. Mm -hmm. um, we've expired all of our storage, gra our gravel that we had stored at the shop, which was, I'm going to say, about five, six hundred yards. Wow. Um, was, you know, the stuff that we just keep on hand through, for, throughout the year for events like this. And I'm glad, and we all should be glad that we did that because mm -hmm. there's no pits open. There's no way to get to a pit if they were open. Mm -hmm. So us having that pile there, we were able to get it out and get our roads passable mm -hmm. uh, relatively quickly. Great. Uh, there's still a pile of work to do. I'm not saying that we're anywhere near out of the woods because there's a lot of ditches that are six and seven feet wide and five and six feet deep. Uh, I just came from East Hill and put up a bunch of cones up there for the weekend because we're not just not going to be able to get into it um, so that people can see the dangers and hopefully not get in trouble. Um, but it is passable. Everything is passable okay. except for Blake Hill. Yes. That's the only one I've got closed. So is that one, one lane? Uh, one lane? Most of our, yes, all of them are at least one lane. There are some that, that you can't try, you can't meet. You know, you have to, you have to wait for one or the other mm -hmm. to get through. 
Um, but we had a lot of problems on the county road. There was one that, one culvert that washed away uh, that first night. And so we went to try to fix it. And there was just so much water that we ended up having to put two two, in, two foot culverts, two foot diameter culverts together mm -hmm. to hold the water. And then that next night it rained, Tuesday night it rained again and washed the road out again. Mm -hmm. So we were back again that next day to try to get the county road opened up. Um, particularly county road because I feel like that's a lot of a lot of traffic travels mm. that road and I'm trying to focus mostly on the high high traffic areas uh, and the thorough through affairs first. Um, again, there's a lot of a lot of work left to do. Um, mm. Happy to answer questions to the best of my ability. But so, would you address questions to me and then I'll pass them to okay. Alfred? You know, we live on East Hill Road, and I know there's. Could, I mean, could you, give could you your name? just give us your name, please? Oh, Mark. Mark Current. Mark Current. Yeah. And we live on East Hill Road where the second house, it, it was Mary's and Elizabeth's house, and we are pretty much landlocked in, and there's no way of, of getting out, and it's, it's, it's a huge crevice through in front of our house. Which and happens with every big storm. Yeah. It happened with every big storm that we had. <clears throat> and so it's, uh, and it's because, it, I mean, we were, we were out just right before the flood and when it was rushing down, and those culverts up there by the woods, I mean, it was, it just couldn't handle all that water. And it just, like a knife, just went right through and in front of the house. So, I don't know, it's, I'm just throwing it out there at the end. So there, so there is, there is, there's a, a culvert that's above your house is slated for a replacement okay. and to a bigger size. There's a grant in place, there's, that's, it's in the works. Okay. So when that culvert goes in, this shouldn't happen again. Okay. Yeah. Um, but there, you're right, there are two culverts there from the intersection down to your house. Yeah, yeah. And they just got overtaken. They, there's just so much water and... It doesn't take much of a, a stick or a little bit of debris, and it plugs it, and then the force of the water more and more comes to it, and then before you know it, it's, Your bridge is it's gone. overtaken. Right, mm -hmm. and there's a bridge is gone, <laughs> right. Well, that's what happened with the state road culverts. They were clogged. So are you, you saying you can't get out of your driveway? No, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, there's no way. We have two ways to get in, but yeah. we're, we're pretty much, there's no way we can go around our property to, to get out, mm -hmm. so we're relying <laughs> Good, the generosity of our neighbors mm, they to go shopping, to go shopping and, and she has cardiac problems too so it's been it's been a really mm. uh, so uh, it just mm. like a timeline of what, what how long that's going to mm. take and it's, it's kind of dicey. yeah I'm planning on East Hill Monday okay. Monday Tuesday so certainly by the end of day Tuesday that should be all in repair oh good yeah Again, going to the, the the more main thoroughfares uh, as priority. Okay. Uh, and I, I, I just want to piggyback on that. Same thing. I live. I had to crawl out of a five foot trench to get to this meeting tonight. Yep. You know I can do it because I'm still we strong. Need video. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, I got no we want way video evidence. to do anything. <laughs> um, I know. The town it, uh, can repair and will, but I mean, can you give me any kind of feedback to the timeline? I, I no. came, I've come and looked at yours. I, I, you did? I've come and looked and knocked on your door and I couldn't get You it. did? You knocked? You crawled through that? Uh, yes, ma'am. You <laughs> crawled <laughs> and, <laughs> and you knocked on my I door did. and didn't hear you? So, oh my God. I, 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 I might have explained Jack on this. I got a doorbell now. How did you get the doorbell? You ring the doorbell. Okay. What did you think, or what can you do, or how, can I get a temporary uh, crossover? I, I mean, I'm old, and I lugged my groceries over right. last right. night, and I'm telling you, I don't want to do it again, but I, if you tell me that you'll help me temporarily, just put a thing. I look at it, I, I'm pretty Vermont smart, and I can do something, but... You know what? I need a brace to hold up the thing. It's a it's a goddamn twenty foot. It's a bridge, yeah. You, you need an excavator. I mean, I can't, mm -hmm. I can't build it. You definitely bridge. need an excavator or something. What do you What do you going to do for me? <laughs> well, um, 
I would love to help you. <laughs> I'm sure. Her right. parents on the other but side, so she just needs to be able to walk over. Right, but as I understand, yeah. that, I mean that, that that's not even, it's not even a class four road. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. You believe me, it is. I've done this before. We've been through this before. Yes, we okay. have. So I'm just going with what I'm yeah. told. Yeah. Okay. Um, that the class four goes to the bridge and mm -hmm. stops. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm told. I I haven't mm -hmm. investigated yet. Uh, happy to do that. What I do goes through the select board for the most part. Yep. When it comes to these types of things, this is mm -hmm. a big one. That's going to be an expensive bridge to put in there. You betcha. Temporary. No, it's a, a repair. It's not replacement. It's a repair. You've done this before on my bridge. It really doesn't take. It really doesn't matter if it's a repair or a replacement. It's going to be expensive. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, mm -hmm. I, I'm not talking about. I, I just want to be able to drive over my bridge. And not crawl down and crawl up. Right, right, right. No, we understand. I understand that, sure. So, um, is there a way maybe somebody can help me with a temporary bridge, just a walking bridge? I can't. Don't they have those plates, those big metal plates available? Uh, they, they may. I mean. I've got a, an expanse that I can't really do myself, and for much stronger, I would do the goddamn bridge. I have planks. <laughs> But right. they just aren't long enough, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Yeah. And sure. Carol, what's it? A twenty foot span you said? More than uh, more than twenty? It's it's yeah, probably it's eight, it's eighteen feet across. And I have to crawl down and crawl up and I you know what? I ain't gonna do this anymore, so I'm going to come take a look. I have a 20-foot staging plank, and I'd be happy You're to let you borrow it if it's enough. You have a 20-foot what? Staging, staging plank. plank. It's a little really? plank. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm welcoming anything that anybody could give me, because I really can't do this. Mm -hmm. Chris, I believe can it. I just can I take a yes, please. Just Go ahead. Plank. Then, yes, sir. Yeah, I'm not plank. Plank. We should be following what the state's wanting from us. I just spoke with the EOC in Waterbury today. and, and is. The town offices should be collecting all of these damaged areas so that the select board can prioritize you for Alfie. Information about it. Yeah, because okay. it's really not fair for Alfie to try to manage all this himself. Yeah. We need someone at the town offices. This is what they want from us because I spoke with them today to, so that the town folks either on our website or via phone can collect all this information. Then you can sit down with the select board to prioritize for those type of things. That, Kind of poor Alfie will never keep this up if you know, mm -hmm. he'll be on the phone not fixing roads. Mm -hmm. But that's what the state's looking for. That's on my list, but trying to help you out here. Thank, Thank you, Paul. Sir, I'm sorry, Miss Carroll, you're going to have to wait yeah, just a second. Tim Appleton, um, just along with that, what everybody's saying, I'm hearing bits and pieces where people are still stranded. Um, at their residences, and I just think it behooves the select board to, to undergo some kind of an assessment for how many residents are currently yes. stranded. stranded yeah. and, and the state is houses. asking for this and matter. come through with some kind of a prioritization to unstrand them. Mm -hmm. And I think that's got to be at the top of the list mm -hmm. somewhere, because some mm -hmm. people cannot access the public road system right now. Mm -hmm. So it just makes sense mm -hmm. to be able to allow people to get to their jobs, get to where they need to be, mm -hmm. um, and not have to call in and out and do what they have to do to Right. to access the public road system. So. Tim, that's a really good point. Yeah. Yeah. And to piggyback on the state is wanting this. That's one of the things mm -hmm. that needs to be done. And so whoever knows of anybody who's in that situation, please let us know. Ms. Carroll, I'm going to make you wait one more time. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank Just you very good, Jenny. Um, I first want to ask who was the person who posted on Facebook, on Front Porch Forum, that I canceled this meeting? <laughs> No one. No, no I didn't see that. that. I oh, saw the previous it, it, one. Where you, no, it was. Someone um, hacked my account and posted that I canceled this meeting. No and I posted I did not. Yeah. I had one the other day so, that was like that, right? That's my first issue. My second mm -hmm. issue is Maggie's place. Mm -hmm. She was allowed to build that driveway. No one stopped her. I told Ron she was doing it. He was, that it was being done, he did nothing, and now you have a mudslide. Right. And it went into the pole, and it went into Robin Gowan's place, I think. So, 
the listers have got to be doing their job. She put she put like a road up into she the woods. She put a or ramp up there, and I told Ron, and we took pictures. Yeah. And he can't do. He can't tell her not to do that. But yes, he can. He's a lister. Okay. He's he can, a lister. He can charge her for it. He can. He can tell her that she's not supposed to be putting in mm -hmm. roads without mm -hmm. approval, a permit. Mm -hmm. The proper construction and a and a, a registered mm -hmm. person that knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You just can't pile up dirt, and make a road. Mm -hmm. So I'm done. Mm -hmm. yep. I, will, I also want to thank everybody in town who has helped because yeah, you guys absolutely. have been amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Thank you. All right. you have to wait. Guys. Yep. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Thank you, Mary. And you have to wait one more time. Sorry, you've already spoken once. So oh, I, I apologize. I no, but no. this gentleman had a comment. I am deeply moved by her play, so I'll talk fast. <laughs> <laughs> and try to be concise, which no one will believe. Uh, oh. This is to, to Paul. Well, it's actually to Paul and, and Alfred Bracketed. We have to take it on faith that you believe that all the roads are open, but open is a, a four letter word, yes. like a few other four letter words I can think of. My Very question is this if one calls 911, for medical or a fire emergency. I can cover that for you. you no, what I was going to ask you was, how does the person at the other end know to check with somebody who knows whether the road is open? Are you guys risking going on a place where you can't fit a fire wagon or an ambulance? Yes, I'm really sir. concerned about You know why I'm concerned. Yeah, so early on in the incident, we were isolated. I called the EOC in Waterbury or wherever they are. They're Tuesday. not in Waterbury anymore. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, they put the EOC back where it flooded in 2011 and then flooded again. Yeah, really. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. Okay. Um, with that emergency call that I made got this road fixed. And, and at the same time, we, we don't have access to Hardwick, so we don't have our ambulance. So Tuesday, I put, I called East Montpelier. They're covering for Hardwick uh, for us since then until that road gets opened up. Uh, and Paul, that's mutual aid, right? Correct. Great. Yeah. Um, so they right now um, we're we're responding ahead of the ambulance with our first response and making sure the ambulance can't get there. We had a number of incidents Monday and Tuesday where we had to deal with patients very long term who were quite sick in Woodbury and Callis, and we could not transport them. One guy, I think, two hours, we finally got him out of there. So we've managed this okay, and every day it's improving. Um, I know the problem is worse in Callis with closed roads because like I, 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 everything I've driven on is like Alfie says, or you can get there. It's not, it's, you know, get a glass of sake and a scarf and go, but sometimes, but there's edges and there's sticks and there's, so just be super careful. But we're covered. We've covered, I think we've done 38 some runs since Monday, so we're covered. Okay. And I keep the dispatch knows to call me if there's any questions. Thank you. West Woodbury I've covered. Mm -hmm. They're going oh. hard still Go handling. Yeah. Hard yeah. handling that. Yes. That's what I've read. That's great. Miss Carol Finley, please go back. Oh my god. Can I remember? Yes I can. Okay, so I called um, the governor's uh, conference that we all listened to, I'm sure you all did. He said one, call two one one call your home insurance policy. And I'm telling you I did all of the above. 211 guided me to, okay, make a claim on your personal insurance. And I am saying, I don't know how to do this. I didn't do anything. But they're saying, oh, you can't. We can't because you have to file a claim. I didn't file a claim because I know the town is responsible to repair my bridge. Should I let that? Because they were saying um, FEMA is going to load you a bunch of money. Should I claim on 211 that I've had damage? Am I going to claim on my personal insurance right now? No, because I know you'll take care of me. But am I talking about four months down the road? Tell me. Um, I'm going to let. What? Well, Go ahead, Miss. They, and then I'm going to let Paul speak. Well, they tell you that you, they want you to. Call your insurance company to get the denial because they're not, they're not, we've done it already. They've denied it, and that's what you'll use to go to FEMA or to the town or whoever else you want to be responsible for. I'm sorry, I didn't hear all of that. You're telling me I have to call my insurance company and say, 
You're full of shit, and I'm. No, you just want. You just want to. You you just want to hear your insurance company tell you no, they're not going to do anything about it. You should call the insurance company just to have it on file that you did attempt your insurance company. Okay. First First step two one one. First step two one one. It's you can do it online. Okay, so so just help me on this whole thing. If I call two one one, I report my uh, property damage. And then they tell me I, I've got to call my personal insurance, and then the guy there says, I'm not going to handle anything until you put in a claim. I said, I'm not making a claim because this FEMA money is to, coming have, here. I can cover this for you. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm gonna gonna very, she's like, very correct. If you have personal, when FEMA comes in, there's basically two layers there's public infrastructure, and then there's private home damage. Been okay. through many, many floods in my time with the state. Um, they're going to come in level two assessment probably with next week to handle the public infrastructure damage roads fire stations town i've all the stuff we have the next level is the personal side um, i don't have very good news for you there um, every homeowner is required to file with their homeowners which probably 99 percent will get denied unless you live in a floodplain and have flood insurance and by the way we're not mapped as a flood right so you have to have the denial from your insurance company which will open you to apply for that second level private property FEMA program, which, again, this is me speaking. I don't know how it's going to play out this time, but in the past, they've covered some personal, like the structure, but no personal property. And again, how that's going to play out, it's, it's 10 or 11 years since we did one, but that's probably what's coming. But those with personal property, where this goes back to the same thing with the roads, I would also have the town offices collect this information so that we have it. And then you're kind of waiting, because once they have it, they can pass the FEMA stuff to you when it comes, okay. which is a very convoluted process. Second Ms. Carroll, I'm going to wait for I'm one sorry. second. Is there another question that's out there before I call on Ms. Carroll again? I just have a question for Jonah. Jonah, would you peek out the door and see if my kid is still on the playground? Do you mind? Uh, uh, he's still there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a reason, that's a reasonable question. Let's see where Joel is Do you, do you right have now. any person, any damage at your house? Wait. Sorry. Sorry? Okay. Not appropriate yet? Yes, miss. Yes, I'm Evelyn Bailey. I live on Evelyn Lake Day. Hill. And I just, uh, if I might just um, address a comment um, to Carol and to everybody else in this room. There's a process that has to be followed. Whether you agree with it, whether you think it's stupid, whether you like it, whether you think the town's gonna to take care of you, there is a process that you have to go through to get to the end result. That's it. And it's you articulated the process, you just have to do it. Yeah. It's really cumbersome and I've sat in many, many cities and towns in this and worked through with this with people and it's a really a struggle for your private homeowners. I don't Private homeowner damage is going to be very, very tough. So it just well, it's a grind. That, that, I, I, can I speak for just a minute? I, I know that you are responsible for my bridge. The town is responsible town, yeah. for my bridge. That's. Yeah, we've established, I think. Yeah, I know. Okay. So should I do what you're telling me all to do? Go to uh, 911, you know. Um, uh, I would. I would why, go through why, two, uh, why would I do that if you are going to Because as Evelyn said, it's the process. If you don't... And it'll speed it up. Right. It'll if speed you, it if up. If you delay this, you could be adding around, months to You could be last on the list. Right. So the more that you can do to document... Correct. Take all, photographs. Take photos. Done it. Go to 2 on one Okay. Then go to the claim. insurance company and file the claim. They'll if deny they deny it. it, fine. If they don't... Great, but they will. So then we get that documentation. All of that stuff can help us move forward with how FEMA responds to you and helps us with that forward process. The more that we can do to document all that damage, especially on a class three or class four road, that benefits all of us. Okay, I, I, I am going to do that, but the thing is, it's just like it's convoluted because. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. You know what? If you're responsible, if the town is responsible, I should not do anything. I'm just going to let you come in and do it. Mm -hmm. Why would I do all that well, shit? You've you got to remember that. Because what? you don't want to be last on the list. Yeah. I'm um, on the list. I um, called Alfie. Where's Alfie? You're so last on the list. I called him. When is the uh, class, I'm two, sorry. class three wrong? It's out of service. Chuck, you're, you're going to have to wait in line, dude. 
I'm so sorry. Uh, Miss Evelyn, you were next, but this gentleman had his hand up. Go ahead, sir. Quick procedural question for those of us who are not in internet land. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> can, can some or all of this at least be begun on the phone? You two on one has a two on one phone. has a phone option, right? And, and, mm -hmm. But they won't. All, so often you dial two on one and they say go to the internet. That isn't possible for some of us. Mm -hmm. um, can well, that be sir, continued? Does anybody you are welcome to walk across the bridge that I no longer have, get to my place, <laughs> and you can use the internet because we actually too have internet so you can drop by our place and you can use the internet and i'll help Careful you what you offer you <laughs> no <Nope. laughs> if you want to walk across the remnants of our bridge <laughs> come on over i'm totally good with it but in some cases i completely agree with you they've walked away from using some of those phone services it's an initial and you get a number mm -hmm. you get that number and then you have to translate it back to a digital service mm -hmm. and i'm willing to help with any of that anybody who wants it I'm willing to help. Guaranteed. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Evelyn, and then, yes, ma'am. So, uh, again, uh, on, on the process issue, uh, it's really important for individuals to do their part. Um, individuals, the nonprofits like 211 who are there to help individuals, the state, um, the feds, FEMA, our town government, all have a part to play in this and as individuals we have to do our part even though it's con may seem convoluted the end result will be that the town can get money from fema to offset the cost of helping you or you or me that's why it's important to go through the process i know you're frustrated and you're not hearing but i hope that you listen because this is really important Miss Evelyn's point is well made, and it backs up what Paul said. <laughs> as much as we can document, that will help us. And okay. if we can have some sort of clearinghouse, which I don't know how exactly we're going to do that, we will broadcast it as soon as we come up with a plan. But as much as we can document, as fast as we possibly can, that's what we're going to take advantage of. You're going to have to wait. No yes, ma'am. Okay. Just yes, another thing. Okay, so I'm sorry. No, Are you're fine. You, you're telling me I gotta do the protocol that the governor said. Call two one one. Document it with my insurance company. They're not listening to me. They tell me I have to make a claim before I can talk to them. That's sorry. the way it is. That's but that's the way it is. is. No, come on. They should tell me. I pay them. A premium every month. They should tell me <laughs> yeah. about policy. I had questions. They negated that the whole nine yards. I'm telling you. Anyway, so anyway, two and one. Just tell you them. To, just tell uh, them it's your bridge. File it. What? Just tell them it's your bridge. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> just what can I do? <laughs> I'm trying to go ahead and shut up. Please. Okay. Clap. Um, back here says that it's convoluted and unfortunately I mean all of the money for whatever, whatever's paying for any of this is coming Sorry. from the taxpayers mm -hmm. but if you, you you don't do this you could end up not getting anything or the town is going to pay for this the taxpayers right. here so you have to file that claim rotten pay as paperwork is get it denied and then they have more the documentation leverage. to exactly. present to FEMA to so, get money to, for the town to be able to afford to fix the bridge. The leverage is really important. And that's, that's trust me, the yes, bureaucracy of government is awful. Patience <laughs> in managing expectations. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Please go ahead, sir. Can you say your name first? Stephen Murphy. I'm on the Library Board of Trustees. I just want to let everyone know if you need internet access, or access to the computers. First, internet access, there's Wi-Fi broadcast from the library around the clock, and you can get that from just outside the building. And if you need access to computers or internet or anything else, you can welcome to visit the library. We're open on regular hours, Wednesday 1 to 5, Thursdays 2 to 6, Saturdays 9 to 1. And if you have any questions, you can call me or send me an email. I'll, I'll help you otherwise if I can. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I'm just thinking about this in, in Carol's case. 
if, as Paul explained it, you have public infrastructure and then you have private property, and it's been established that the bridge on Carroll's Road on her driveway is a public as asset, why is she now responsible for a public asset and having to file all the paperwork and so on and so forth when it, it's not private property? Am I reading something wrong into that? Or? No, Tim, I don't think you are. I think it is. It, it's public infrastructure. There's no question. You are fundamentally accessing your home via this structure. Is that true? Yes. My bridge is. Um, um, it's not your bridge. It's our bridge. <laughs> so be careful. Be careful. <laughs> All right. It's not your bridge. But you won't do that. I want my bridge repaired, and you can do it because the bridge is like. Quarter. And I'm an old lady, and I am not going to crawl. I, I'm going I'm I'm like to find a way to get you here. So we can like pass the, the bridge. We can I think if you can, if, even if it's town infrastructure, because yeah. we have figure that out. Even as that, the, what I was told by all the repairs they're doing right now need to look temporary. Like don't polish it up because if it's polished up nice, this was directly from the people in. FEMA, the don't make it look nice because then they won't pay for it. Right. So make sure the edges are rough, it's bumpy. So with your bridge, if it's established that it's town infrastructure, if it's an expensive project, FEMA, it'll be a process. And even if Alfie dumps two loads of fill in there, it's going to be a process. So I just like to move by the bridge because I think it's going to get fixed. It's just a matter of how fast, cool. how fast we can get there. Ah, wolf! Come on, Alfie. No, no, don't do that. He's working it's on it. It's not fair. No, I think it was, I think Alfie misunderstood. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a back and forth well, over the years, but I think. Honestly, I'm fairly new to this yeah. wall. Okay, yeah. Just whoever told you that. map of roads yeah. that is in front of me. Yeah. So I don't know where all the class four, class three. I don't know if the town owns a bridge or don't own a bridge. I know Chris's, I'm assuming Chris's is a private bridge. Absolutely. Um, I didn't know about yours. I was I was told that it was class four to the bridge, but you built the bridge when you built your house. That's what I was told. Nope. That bridge has been there. Uh, it was a, a anyway. grand right. country. So, anyway, anyway, anyway. No, so this is a conversation for offline, okay. and I Sorry. promise, Carol, we will address it. I promise we will. Oh, sure. We'll find a way to address it. Okay. Other public comment while well, we have Alfie and Paul here. They have a lot of stuff to do. Are there any other questions that you can address to them directly? By me, please. Um, can your I, name? Uh, can you Kate say Miko. Name? I'm sorry? Kate Miko. Okay. On Herrick's Cove. Okay. Um, I want to thank Alfie. He came over, responded to our emails within a few hours. Um, we had a problem with Wilbo Road. And then I don't know what other road, because some of them are towers above us, that just made Niagara Falls come down mm -hmm. across from our house and down our Eastman and down our road and down our house and her house. And so I know you've been working hard on it, but it has, I didn't know how it was going, because <laughs> it opened up again, like Monday night, I think. Well, it was, it was when, Tuesday night's rain was the second time. Mm -hmm. Because we we fixed it and then it, it happened, the same thing happened again. Yeah. Because of the heavy rains. Right. Um, I understand that Callis is working on getting their culvert fixed, uh, so that will mitigate a lot of the problem. Right. I think it's both. Um, our culverts are now working. All all of them are working in that area. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I've never walked up in the woods there. I don't know if there was a beaver dam or some sort of a pond that let go uh, to create that. But um, there, there was a beaver dam up, 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 up above oh. Wilbur Road. That's correct. So, so there you go. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's unfortunately you could have had you could have had the culvert spick and span or twice the size, and it probably still would have it, happened. It would have clogged within minutes. There's unfortunately, no culvert on Earth that was going to take the water that came yeah. down. No, no, not, not, not even close. Not even close. We were outside. It was mm. terrifying. Really? Yeah. It, was, it was a little creepy. Yeah. Other public comments while well, we have our town road foreman and our EOC manager here. Chuck, please. I have an escalator and dump truck. Whatever I need to help, or why, all you got to do is call. 
Um, I helped Paul out today. We worked on the, the brook over here and got it back into the banks with this other guy, Jake. Or Jake. Yeah, where his house was getting flooded. Flooded. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. So. The state, state sorted it and Chuck got it fixed up. <clears throat> yeah. But um, I'm willing to do anything I can do to help. And Thanks, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. I guess I'll go home. Very much, much appreciated. Much appreciated. You submit the bill to the select board so they can collect it. I get the yep. Hey, sign me up, Chuck. <laughs> uh, yes, miss, please. Should I come up and please break the ahead. beaver dams up first? No! Oh, oh, you don't need to oh, Get out of here, Chuck. The beaver dams are not breached. That dam is yeah. so perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I want. All right, go. <laughs> Go off, it's off of here. It's a town that hates beavers. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Libby Case. I live on Foster Hill. Libby Case. Right Thank in you. Right in South Woodbury Village, and, and piggybacking on the dam issue that just walked out the door. Um, the dam mm -hmm. breached there, and Alvy, you had somebody there first thing in the morning. It was incredible. You guys pulled that spring house out. It was. I couldn't believe you were there already. You were there at two in the morning, I think, with the fire department looking at it. Yeah, wow. I mean, that was Tuesday such morning. quick action to prevent that from getting much worse than it could have gotten. Um, but now the dam has another has a breach in it, so the spillway is now higher mm. than the breach. Mm. Um, and I'm just wondering, is that a claim in there somewhere, like this 211? And I, is it Liz's property? Does she make a claim? What? So that, that, would that, a, that would be a... Does that affect you? Uh, it's, it's a structural. It's that a structural. needs to be given to the EOC in Waterbury as a. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah, it's not, it doesn't affect our property okay. except that it washed up. Yeah. Maybe our property goes to the edge of mm -hmm. that right. creek, but nothing to worry about for us except that. Oh. It's. What's it? Nicky, yeah. Except it did affect our our property owners right across the street, Nicky and Martin, right? It, right. Yeah, they a yeah. lot. Um, well, so, their water supply is now yeah, is, is now compromised. But right. So I don't know. Is that something? Because that dam was already in question, like for the town, right? We were having meetings about that already. That's correct. Should somebody report that to two one one? Should we do that? And and you I guys should be reporting that to the EOC. It's already. We, well, it's been it's been reported to EOC. Okay. Oh, so I don't need yep. to do anything. Or I I did report that one. Okay. So the dam inspectors were there again yesterday. Yeah. Oh, they were. Only because oh. I had circled back. Yeah. Did they so say anything? I don't have a record of exactly what the results <laughs> were. Not. I'm sorry, I had to go to work. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It took me a while to walk to work. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I'm just curious if, it, if they knew anything about it. So, okay, thank you. Thank you. Ms. Carroll, wait one moment. Uh, Jonah, please. Joan Meacham. Uh, I live up on Old Quarry Road. I feel a little silly bringing this one up, given, but... Um, uh, the class four up above me, the class three is fine because Chuck fixed it. No, he, because he lives on it, so he took care of it. Um, but uh, the class four up above me is almost completely washed out, and people keep trying to go up there. Um, it's gotten better since Cabot Road was cleared, but um, the people who have been here long enough know that that's the alternate route up to Cabot Road, and there's a lot of people still trying to get up there. So, I, you know, I don't know what the plan is for the, I know it's on the agenda for day for today, but I just wanted to say it's up there. I think the drainage probably needs to be looked at on that road because a big part of why it is washed out is because uh, Coleman Parker doesn't really know much about drainage. Um, and he's the one who, uh, who set that up. Um, so, uh, it probably, if if it's going to be repaired, that should get looked at. So, or can I ask you a question? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, so, um, are people using that more because I haven't been up Cabot Road, but it was, yeah, they're using it to avoid well, there problems were, on Cabot there Road. A, there was a big washout on Cabot Road, and yeah. that was impassable. Then it got one lane, yeah. and so I think people were still trying to go up. You know, the, and I know that. Well, Elizabeth, Elizabeth and, and Jezebel have been trying to get, I don't know why Elizabeth keeps driving up there, because she knows it's washed out, but um, but they've been driving up there. There were a couple of other people on the first couple of days who were driving up there to try and see if it was passable. I do think it would be a good idea for there to be a sign up there, because if you... Um. It's it's only 100 yards up before you're in a ditch, mm -hmm. and so if you're not paying attention, 
um, you know, a sign just past my driveway is probably a good idea. Um, it's a uh, road closed. Yeah. Road closed. I'm, sorry. Sorry. I'm you just going to respond to here. Yeah. What would you like the sign to say? Road, road closed. closed. Local think, traffic I mean, only, maybe, or I mean, Jezebel and Elizabeth, or I mean, you know, I, I, I guess I, they can try and drive up there. I, I just think it's dangerous. I'm it's not, not my call. I'm, it's I'm not, not. But I'm not trying to speak for Alfie mm -hmm. right now, but yeah. I have to be honest. And Miss Carroll, close your ears if you want to. Class four roads are not our. I mean, totally agree. Not I, I, our. I get it. I get it. Not our direct issue I, at this moment. I know. I know. I'm getting. Okay. Totally agree, and, and I'm just and I, it up and I, I definitely appreciate it. Yeah, and I, I, I think it should be on the very bottom of the list to fix it. All right, but, not that you're on the bottom um, of the list, Miss yeah. but um, I yeah. think that there are right now Cabot Road because yeah. I've been driving it. I agree. My yeah. wife has been driving it to get to Hardwick. Forty-five minutes mm -hmm. later, she finally gets there. Yep. But Maybe Cabot Road is working pretty darn well for a lot of effort totally that has gone agree. in. Mm -hmm. So um, we have to prioritize, and, and I, Jonah, I appreciate it very much, but we've got a list of things that just have to be dealt with first. I completely agree. Ms. Evelyn. So just to, kind of to put on, in the note somewhere and to document for future reference, with regard to Old Quarry Road, after Irene, that was the only way for people mm -hmm. to get to sections of Cabot Road. So this wasn't Irene, um, but it was necessary to do some improvements to Old Quarry Road after Irene so school buses get, could get through, so people could get through. So while it may not be a priority right now, um, it is a necessary backup um, when all hell breaks loose. That's why the town went through the whole exactly. business to exactly. get the... Yeah. So <laughs> just, you know, for planning <laughs> purposes, yeah. um, it's not a road that cannot be paid attention to at some point yeah. um, just because it's an essential workaround work right. in it's the meant. event of a large-scale disaster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. I'm surprised that it, could, it deteriorated so so much since the point where well, it was really... It doesn't bad. have any but functional well, long-term drainage. No, that's, a right. different, yeah. have, that's a different issue. You have previous owners to thank for that. Yeah. <laughs> you have a different, you have a different <laughs> issue there. Ms. Carroll, please. I don't even know what I want to comment on, but I think what you just said was absolutely great. But I'm just saying, like, I'm stuck in the woods with a seven-foot hole. Somebody maybe but temporarily, Carol, Alfie, yeah, you'll Carol, build a little bridge. Carol, this is going to try and Lizzie's going to try and hook you up with the, the ramp so you can walk across. I'm gonna come so check it out and see what we can do. How, are you yeah. good with like? Are you good with kind of balancing on, you know? Hey, look okay. at me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can get you a couple of people. We'll figure it out. But I, yeah, I ain't gonna crawl down in. Miss right. Carol will figure it out. Thank you. Sorry. We will. Other public comment while we do have these gentlemen here with us. Otherwise, we're going to move along in our agenda. Thank you. Thank you. But I just want to say guys. thank you to both yeah. of you for all this work. Excuse me? They can't leave because they're still the agenda. Yeah. I know, but yeah. I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're running on here, but uh, Diana. Mm -hmm. Would you give us the emergency shelter report, please? Oh, are we all done with Paul and Alfie? We're, 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 we're going to do okay. this, and then we're going to let Paul go. Okay, emergency shelter, you know, Monday night, Paul showed up at my door about 7 o'clock, and he said, hey, we're, things are flooding, the emergency shelter. He said he opened it up and turned on the lights and, and left me to uh, deal with the rest of it. And it was kind of interesting. <laughs> Lots nice of walking up the stairs. Down. Yeah, we had some people who were trapped, and they were very friendly. They were happy to have uh, a place and the internet and phone. And and uh, the next day, I brought down some breakfast and made lots and lots and lots of coffee. And people kept coming in for coffee and for electricity. And, and then we went down and raided the food shelf. That was very nice. So most of it didn't get eaten because most of people left during the day. But you know, then there were two people, an older couple from Greenwood Lake, 
road or from County Road who had stayed over another night because they were just unsure about getting to their house. So that, that worked out, but, but I found out during that process that we need a better communication system. People don't have their names in the book. Or, of course, when the phone, when the power goes out, which happened just after he made me this assignment, feeding people with phones don't work because they're, you know, it's like that's a little thing that's plugged into the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so more hardline phones and get your phone in the book. <laughs> I don't know, a lot of people don't know that you can get your phone number in the little hardwood book even if it's a cell phone. It's not a, yeah, even if it's a cell phone. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul? Nice. He, oh, excuse me, Stephen. I'd apologize. like to make a comment on that, that oh. issue there. Um, I, I think that Don Turgeon, the custodian mm. of the building, deserves a lot of credit mm. for the work he did in setting yeah. up. And Diana, too, she is there. Yeah. And, and you and your whole family. I literally showed up with water coming out of the top of my boots. I opened it up, had fun, and left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Carol. And I just want to say, there were, we had four guests there from Virginia. Uh, no, actually five. Four of them had come in, uh, off the Appalachian Trail. Their dad drove them here, and they got stuck in the village. And they were so appreciative. The next day, they made a fifty-dollar donation to the food pantry. Oh, so, oh nice. So, and, and and there was another gentleman who was on his way from Algonquin to Colchester, and mm -hmm. he ended up here by a series of yeah. You know, yeah, two dogs. <laughs> he, he was greatly appreciative too. Yeah. So I just I just want to thank everyone and say how important it is that we have our doors open. You never know who's going to arrive and for what reason. So. Thank you all for, yeah. for helping. Thank you, Stephen. All the help that was done out of sight, too. I'm sure there are countless mm -hmm. other people helping neighbors and cutting. I know a neighbor was making the rounds in his car when the phones were down. Another one was out in his tractor fixing the road. Uh, someone cut, mm -hmm. you know, like, like many, cut down trees that are crossing mm -hmm. the road. So thanks to all here and all out there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah. Thank you. Paul, what you? Yeah, what's here? <laughs> Where do you want? <laughs> no, I was the one here. So our, our life started poorly Sunday. I think we got five inches of rain Sunday is what I heard from somebody's rain gauge during that event where we were over on Herrick's Cove. It was terrifying over there. The water, we thought we were going to be stuck there. There was a car wrapped in electrical lines that we were dealing with. Mm -hmm. So we were out quite busy, a dozen calls Sunday afternoon. I think we left the station around nine. Came Monday, I came by around two, it was starting to flood a little bit, but then the water receded. So I went home and I want to say the flood started around 6.30ish. Um, we've had flooding there before, this was different. It went from, it came over the culvert to, we had two feet of water, like, so we lost some things because we were running running as fast as we could to get out of the building. Um, we, we staged up by Broke Cookson's old garage where the auto shaman is initially. Um, the water was probably three feet, four feet high, moving very quickly. I, we, we had to stop cars because they kept going through mm -hmm. and the last car got floated and almost ended up upside down in the oh, water, no. which we wouldn't have been able to help them. Mm. Oh, um, God. We did a number of rescues from houses. Some people didn't want to didn't want to come out and I told them we're not coming back so they had, once they were there they were stay there. We had a lot of calls for people that had water around their houses as long as they were safe we told them to stay in mm -hmm. place that's what mm -hmm. the safest thing to do was the road's gone but you're gonna you're gonna be safe. One or two in the morning the uh, I think the road up at Jarnus's blew out yeah. and we had the standard down the Cabot Road flood so we had to move further down the road to down down to uh, well, your sister's house. We were mm -hmm. somewhere down in that area. Um, that wasn't fun to watch. And that's just kind of how the night went. We had four, three or four more calls over the night. We, I can tell you that the where these washouts happened, I checked, and it was terrifying. Like, we ended up just leaving because the road was just mm -hmm. the, disappearing in front of your feet. Mm -hmm. um, and things calmed down till morning, and um, Jason Lowell 
went and cut the trees to get the power back on and took Hardwick Electric's credit to buy those guys coffee because uh, a couple of those guys volunteered to climb poles in oh, no. old school to get our lights oh, back on. No. So, because they, they could have just said we can't get a bucket truck in, but they, the guy came in an ATV and he said we'll get a guy to climb and I think we got some pictures of it. So wow. that was awesome. Oh, let's see that. Was yeah, that's, so, so there's been people that did some really fabulous work to get, get our lights on because it was already miserable enough with no being everything wrecked, but now we at least had power and internet. Day we ran a lot of calls. I realized we were isolated, um, having to deal. We, we had a lot of our members stuck with sick people that were stuck. Mm. Um, one was having a heart attack in East Callis. Um, they were there for two hours, circling the drain with with James Daly and Molly, um, who took care of them until the ambulance finally got to the hospital. We had others that they needed insulin or they needed mm -hmm. some kind of medication. And we were able to find somebody in town who had medicine that could take care of them for a day or so because we were isolated. A um, couple of sick people that we convinced that they were not sick enough to need helicopter evacuation. That's all we really had as an option. Um, Swiftwater Rescue said they'd come a number of times. We really didn't need anybody to be Swiftwater Rescued, so I just didn't use the resource. I did call the EOC mid-morning Tuesday to let them know about the road, which that got the got what you saw, here. v -trans. They said, we'll be here at 6 Wednesday morning with a fleet of trucks, and that's what happened. So, And I've been in touch with them on and off. We've probably done close to 40 runs since Sunday, so we've been very busy. Uh, we lost all of our medical gear. Um, flood but district 6 EMS showed up Wednesday night with eight stock EMS bags so we're covered there mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of the response it's been I think I've got 60 70 hours in two, uh, two nights with no sleep <laughs> but we're here we're surviving um, trucks are okay trucks are okay the building's a disaster at the moment it doesn't look so bad but um, yeah, it had three and a half feet of water in it high velocity water so it's the, st the stud cavities got mud in them and so we've got a we're having a work day to gut most of the inside of the building tomorrow. We've been we filed an insurance claim. FEMA's been in touch with us. <laughs> um, we've got to get the building open and dry. Um, insurance people will be here next week sometime. Paul, do you want to announce that as a work day on Saturday? I did. It's online. So nine o'clock tomorrow. We're moving sheetrock. Uh, if you look on our Facebook page, I've been disseminating information, kind of things we're going to need if you're if you're not inclined to work. Like you can't pull sheetrock off walls and lug it outside. And unfortunately, it's going to be piled next to the building because the dumpster. I don't know when a dumpster's coming. I mm -hmm. sell. We paid for it. It's coming. The post office side of the building or the town probably hall side. Probably down of the building. where you see that stuff. It'll probably be there. Okay. So yeah, post the, office I'll, side. Yeah, I'll go way down. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep it as small as possible. But we'll have. There's a dumpster coming. I just don't mm -hmm. know when. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But we are having work day tomorrow. Things we could really use are if someone's good at clerical paperwork and administrative tasks, because we have a, and the town's going to have the same issue as FEMA paperwork. And I'm sure they're not going to cry if somebody loves doing paperwork. Because if you've ever <laughs> dealt with, I'm trying to explain to you, like when, when we get grants from last time, you get three different programs, and you don't even know when they send you a check, you've got to figure out what program it comes from and then they would tell you you get you gave us too much money and they gotta send some back and the next day they give us two thousand you write them two thousand the next day you get a ten thousand dollar check when you call them like well that's a different program so this is the kind of what we got to deal with um we're supposed to get a level two inspection next week i don't know when that's going to happen for yeah. fema um what's uh, so that's where we're at fire department wise uh, if we can get the building gutted out tomorrow um, just to give everybody fair warning, we're probably going to need to do more work to the building um, than it, insurance or FEMA is going to cover. Because um, when we strip it to this point, we might as well fix the, with the stuff we were going to do anyway. Because as part of our new building, we're going to keep that old building. Because what, that's how we saved the building an extra 2,000 square feet was by using this one. So mm -hmm. I, I, my feeling is right now that we should just, we're going to be eligible for the, they told me the program, but it's half percent, half percent. money. Yeah. So, Fair warning, I'm probably just mm. going to go ahead and borrow this money and we're going to have to figure it out because we've got to get the building back up and running by well, winter. Are you going to use that building after? Yeah, that? so that's been the plan all along is because we we saved a million bucks by not building, yeah. rebuilding that square footage. We'll end up storing our trailers, boats, and that'll be our equipment mm -hmm. storage area. Same problem coming into the future. I mean, it's a flood plan. What do you think? Well, we could end up with FEMA telling us we have to tear it down. And then, so again, I don't... That's why what's going to happen in the short term is it's going to be gutted, dried out, and we'll wait 
and hear from FEMA. Right. Um, so nothing, nothing uh, as far as the build back is going to be happening. We're, we're required to just insurance and FEMA wise stop the bleeding, and then they're gonna they're gonna help us with figuring out. Right. And all the other stuff that you lost. Ms. Anna. Ms. Brandy had her head up first. Oh. Okay. The, yes. I'm, off. I'm not speaking. No. Excuse me. I'm taking it back. I don't want to speak. Okay. Go ahead, Ms. Anna. And all the other stuff you lost. We're going through that now, so tomorrow we also need people to go through the stuff that we need. It's not a lot of it, but we can throw it away once we've documented what it is. There's like a, we put a bunch of leather gloves. Like your, your washer and dryer? Well, and that yeah, that's damaged, so whether they're going to mm -hmm. fix it, I, I turned it on, it works. The, mm -hmm. We got a gear dryer, there's really expensive stuff that got mm -hmm. damaged. Mm -hmm. Again, insurance wasn't real comforting, like mm -hmm. the way the passive works is they, it's basically the towns are putting money in this insurance pool and the losses will all be calculated throughout all the towns as far as physical, mm -hmm. you know, town offices, fire stations. And then they, you'll get a percentage of the loss mm -hmm. based on how much money they got to pay out. So I don't even know what that, hopefully mm -hmm. next week I'll have a better answer, but we mm -hmm. probably are going to have to borrow money in anticipation mm -hmm. of funds to be received and not all that may be paid. Just it's fair warning because, mm -hmm. you know, if we're going to fix it, we might as well fix it. So if somebody comes to help tomorrow, do they wear gloves? Do you have gloves? Well, we'll need, you better bring, we don't have any of that stuff, so. Bring, bring so like the, the rubber, like medical gloves, would that work? Or we have some need? of that, but I think tomorrow just work gloves, because okay. really the stuff is not, it's just wet. Okay. So we're going to be tearing up the walls, pulling in, it's not, not a, we got, we're not going to leave the wire, we're just going to cut around the wiring, and mm. we got to do as little as possible but dry, get it so we can dry it. And I've got dehumidifiers ordered. They should be here next week. We can put it in the building and dry it out. Okay. okay. I'll be there tomorrow to do clerical weather. Okay. And if, be warned, if I get 60 people, we're not work for everybody, but we'll appreciate it. It's okay. If you I know you. Danville Fire Department's on their way over because we were over there for 12 hours, so they called me already and said, we're on our way tomorrow. It's okay. I know there's yeah. some plans in, in place for food already. You do? Okay. I don't know. Rachel and Danielle have been talking about it. Okay. Do you need tools and... Should we bring tools? Or? Yeah, if you should, yeah. things like hammers and crowbars. I'll have a couple saws. Because well, really, I'm just going to cut a line and we just pull yeah. it off. Okay. So just you know, mm -hmm. it's one of those many hands make light work type of thing. Sure. If one guy's, if you have someone picking up a piece of sheetrock, second it comes off the wall, or moving some equipment out, because anything that's dry and left, that's the next thing. Is I was hoping to get permission to continue to use the town hall for meeting and office space, because we really aren't going to be able to use that. Use our room. I am firmly. In favor of that. We're in there, you know, we got to yep. just need a place. We lost our computer, we bought a laptop to replace it. Okay. It, we'll I, have to work I, with Robin when she has it rented. I was going to say, Skip Marcazzoni has asked for it for tomorrow morning. What's for the Lake Association meeting? We can make room for them in there. Okay. We'll just move our stuff. Oh, it's so okay. they're not canceling. I haven't heard that they I have so hard so I far. Was canceled. Oh, I don't know. I have. He hasn't. He hasn't talked to her yet. But, but I've but, also but anyway. been dealing with the family funeral. Yeah. I'll, so. I'll check with him. Since yeah, because we have kept the post office. I'm trying to keep yeah. the water down. Because Robin had a lot on her plate, so we pumped it out. I've been going there every couple times a day. To, it keeps coming in, but we're trying to get they it. They can also use here if they want to come here. So if that's but okay, that's what our plan is. I'll double check. I'm pretty sure he canceled. Okay. So when do I get my mail? So I go to Hardwick. 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 So I spoke. I spoke with the postmaster. The postmaster and I. I've already. Once we get the basement dry, and is the panel in the basement, or is it upstairs? The electrical panel. In the. I believe it's upstairs. Okay. So once we get the basement dry, which if you can get someone to keep watching it, because I'm going to run out of time to do that. But we. I have the sump pump running now. Okay. Then I can get the state inspectors in. When they deem the building safe and there's no water in the basement, the post the postmaster can open the post office. But she told me today she has to have a postal right. inspector mm -hmm. come and inspect. And before that, I've got to get the state fire the marshal. State fire marshal, state. marshal has to see yep. it first. Yeah. Well, they've got a postal inspector. I've got the state. I've got to get the state fire marshal and the state what? electrical mm -hmm. inspector in there. Everything. I mean. Yep. Yeah, welcome. It's, if you go to Barry, there's a whole show going on. Yeah, really. <laughs> we just got a little sideshow. I had a whole van load of federal agents, ATF agents, and 
was feeding, but people showed up and I didn't know where you were exactly, so I just, ah, I'm gonna get, I got a Navy, I think he called, I'll get him in touch with Alfie's one about road damage, so. Yeah, and I did, when I was at the post office this morning, she was there picking up all of the mail. So any mail that was in, in the post office is now no, in Hardwick. And right. road-wise, I've been told by the state, I was conversing with the road foreman for North Montpelier, they're hoping to have that tonight. If you, if you go to our Facebook page, I'm keeping people up to date on that highway issue. Mm. The hard with you mean? Yeah, because mm. he's going to call me when it's open. Yeah, yeah. I saw like I talked to that guy. Well, him. that's a, remember this is dynamic. Is they got yeah. enough yeah. stone don't, hauled? Don't, don't, don't assume. Don't just, assume this. that was their hope. Mm. Tim, please go ahead. Um, yeah, just just follow up comments. So a lot of people don't use Facebook. I go okay. and so mm. to the extent that we can put this kind of information on the town the post website. office. Mm -hmm. about the road on our town website yeah. um you know something along those lines because just to get that information because all everything with the post office is news to me mm -hmm. i have no idea it was even closed although now it makes sense mm -hmm. um but i'm sure there's a all the town folks have no idea that the mail has stopped flowing um yeah. No so, inside. you know, to the extent that we can get this but information either on the town website no, and then no, maybe we follow up with the front page forum. So would you say that people get front page forum, front just front don't, forum and don't use Facebook? No. So at the right. post office, on the also, door yeah. itself, Wait. it's it states yeah. that it's closed and that your mail is in the highway. And there is also a phone number there for you to call. For you to call. If you go to get the mail, that's on Let's the front see. door. Okay, because okay. when I dropped off mail recently, there was no posting on the post office at the time that I went, and that was right after the flight. Yeah, they got there Tuesday was, or Wednesday. That was Tuesday morning. morning. But just to follow up for people. Yeah. Just if we can have it on our website, if we can put it on front page form from the select board, it's yeah. just general basic information for everyday mm -hmm. life. Yeah. Um, it would just help, I think, with people. There's, there's too many websites, if you will. Well, well but this one, that so, one. So just we'll in, do in fairness to this, it's been really tough to get information out. It just this week has been very dynamic, but that's on my list of you, for my stuff to talk about. It's just. Uh, getting as much information as we can on the website that was on my list because we have a Facebook page and a website and everybody goes there so yeah. you know if, if we could if you have your page I can get that information as I get because people have been coming to me and they calling um, I, I mentioned the list of folks who need help collected at the town offices uh, people who have damaged property get a list at the town offices uh, places to go to get info list at the town offices that covers that part of it um, the next thing I had was we want to, as probably as quickly as we can, get the generator propane tank filled back up mm -hmm. in case we have another disaster. I'll um, call Randy. Paul, Evelyn, yes, is, is Skip in town? Yes. Okay, so I can get the information to him that he, so we can put it on the website for oh. me. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'm going home right now. I'll give him a heads up. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate the meeting. Thank you, Evelyn. Good to see you. I'm not going to have any alarms come off in my phone. No, I don't think so. Do you mind peeking again? Thank you so much. So, so one of the problems we had is, is we don't have, and it's not the select board's fault, we physically don't have an emergency management director, which we're supposed to have. So We've been trying. Yes, yeah, something that people can think about. Part of the, the some of the shortcomings, having been involved in quite a few disasters, not having that structure in place. Um, so that needs to happen. Um, so I think that I completely agree with you. Um, and that's not throwing rocks. That's just no, a no. fact on the ground. But, yeah. I, but I caught a pebble right here. Yeah, and that's okay. Throwing. Because um, so I did reach out to. I mean, so Sam Lash did reach out to me. I gave, I tried to give updates as often as I could. Yeah, I don't know if Sam too. reached out yeah. to. Okay. So. We are getting some communication. Okay, and I've but, been in touch with the EOC. But your every EOC, day. unfortunately, me. and so yeah, that has fallen it, on your shoulders. But the problem is when we break it into the structure, I'm supposed to be fire and rescue. And, I know, and, like, and so we, yeah, so we'll we, get it. So it's, we'll, it's, we have to get it squared away. So moving forward, we got to fix it, um, and then uh, all of the town employees, like you, the select board, town clerk, all need to go to their ICS training. Incident command structure, you'll understand oh. the system. Yep. Okay, if you don't, if you have been, we're all like the fire department, are all 100, 200, 300, 700 have all been to those classes. Yep. And we're we're at you can, most of them are online, and, and the, the worst ones for the select board are the administrative ones, is like a two day class 
to understand because, have to go in person. because like yeah. you would be you'd be the financial officer the select board is the basically the incident commander who off because oh, you might be authorizing emergency yeah. expenditures like someone needs ten thousand bucks they got to go borrow it you know because right. that's kind of the way this works um, and then mm -hmm. there are resources at the EOC like as I said I had them call numerous times the uh, I got a call yesterday. They knew we'd been out for days, and they said, "We'll send six firefighters to your town to man your equipment. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to go home, do you need a what? Do you need a swift water? Do you need water. generators? Right. Do you need lighting? Do you need water? Do you Ooh. need so again? If any of the needs that we don't have that come up in these mm -hmm. things you're collecting, you can call the EOC, and they have resources to get it. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's it. Um, they're going to do a, a, what they call a hot wash, so get ready. They're, they're going to come and we're going to evaluate the performance of the town in a couple of weeks. So get ready. Um, this is uh, um, EOC? For how our structure went, okay. which wasn't great because just how it worked. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. So EOC is Emergency Operations Center? Yeah. Of so every, of the town of Woodbury. No, I mean of the Of the, the state, EOC. state of Vermont. What department are they in? Homeland Security? Homeland or? Security. Okay. They're Homeland. So there's in with uh, yeah. The, uh, the other emergency. Because again, we would declare, the select board would declare an emergency and then the structure moves into mm -hmm. place where someone goes to the town offices. The treasurer's there, mm -hmm. the town clerk's there to document. Because we're in document, document, document right now. Every dollar, every staple you buy, write it down. Like for me, when a pump goes out, I got to assign two people how many pieces of hose, what kind of pump it was. Because when I fill out the form to get reimbursed, they want all that information. Mm -hmm. So you need to have that kind of detail. Photographs, that's what's coming for everybody. And that's what Sam Lash said document, document, document. document, 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 document. And then for you, document. make sure the repairs look temporary, bumpy, not so good. <laughs> Because good enough for now. So the problem is, if you fix the road so it looks perfect, and FEMA shows up and it looks perfect, they're going to say, looks like no issue. Mm -hmm. like no. If you pull a culvert back and you bury it and fix it and plant grass, they're going to go, no money for you, sorry. Oh. So what we're doing at the firehouse is everything we're cleaning up, I'm photographing and documenting. Right. That way it's mm -hmm. damaged, same with the insurance. It's a mitigate the problem, but... But this is why, Ms. Carroll, we have to document That's everything. That's why it's a real pain. We're going to yeah, try to fix it, fix it as well as functional, but yeah. go document it. So where we are in the, in the process, we were in the emergency phase, fire rescue, mm -hmm. flooded roads. Uh, that ended about Wednesday. Uh, we are now in what they would call the recovery phase. Where we're getting roads open, we're getting finding the last few houses that don't have access, solving those problems, finding someone that can't get their medicine. These are the things. If you know neighbors that are in need that don't can't get food or they can't get their medicine, we need to know at the town offices. Yeah. I'm and, the food shop and call me. Right. Well, some of the that. problems are Walgreens isn't open. Mm -hmm. Tox is not open. Right. So, so mm -hmm. the, the kind of things that are going to be coming up in the next two weeks is an elderly person that can't drive. Yep. and they can't get their medicine here. Uh, there's resources to get the medicine at the hospital and other places. Yep, so and that's where if you collect it at the town office, we can get it out to me or someone that can find a resource yep. to get them help. And, and, and we have great people in this town. I'm sure someone can say, I'll drive you to Barry, for example, to the, yep. to the pharmacy. Yeah. Th that's the kind of thing that's going to be happening in the next mm -hmm. two weeks, the needs that are going to come up. Good. Someone can't shop, for example. Ms. Diana? I want to ask Tim, you said you know of people who can't get out of their home. Can you tell us or provide that There's information? A, at least one up on the Cabot Road. Dan Jarvis. Uh, oh, Dan, Dan okay. Yeah. Dan. We know oh, no, not only that, but Mike DeMers' place was he's locked up tight for a while. Uh -huh. so he's, and he's can he get out now? Or? Or? I yes. Think so. Right. His driveway is fixed. He did. Okay. Yes. Well, but DeMers' driveway? Mark DeMers. Yeah, yes. but not. Fairness. No, no, that's that's a, no, he just hooked it out. That's yeah, an that's original. The colony on the road bridge. bridge. Yeah. Um, but there might be Carol other Ray on camera. Oh, and the other one, one more item is we did have Sorry. to get 19 gallons of fuel at the town garage. That's part of the emergency plan, so we can resolve that at some point. Yep. Because we're cut off from fuel the, the, in the emergency plan. I think you were going to approve last Monday, but you didn't do it. Um, that's our plan. Is that, I'm sorry, uh, my bridge was already gone. So. <laughs> so, so the emergency plan is we get fuel at the town garage, and we'll just resolve it mm -hmm. as we mitigate this problem. Another reason. So coming out of the same Go ahead, please. Uh, Sandy Reed, Lake Hill Road, and uh, also with Hardwick Rescue. Um, just kind of informational, anyone who fills or has refills of their prescriptions at the Hardwick Walgreens, 
There's a number that we've listed on the Herbert Rescue page. Linden yeah. Mills, um, Walgreens, you can call them there. They can arrange to fulfill your prescription and send it to a CVS or another pharmacy that's close by so you can fill your prescription. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank and we're doing that for all of our calls too. All of our rescue calls now, we're asking every single patient. Right, you have Do you have resources. anxiety about food, yeah. water, mm -hmm. and prescriptions? Yeah, yeah. we're all yeah. doing that. Great. So things yeah. coming in through their polluted wells, polluted springs, septic systems that don't work, or things that get added to your list. Yeah. Yeah. Document. Mm -hmm. Another question. I live, I live in the woods. Yes. And what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My ignorance is exceeded only by my lack of information. The shelter of which you speak, praise God, I don't need it. But if I need to send somebody there, what, what is it and where is it? It's yeah. the school. It's the school. Ah, and if you need to call someone because it's not open right now, I right. opened it. Again, because the structure wasn't there, I just opened it and I went and found somebody to, to run it. But normally the EOC in the town would be notified by me saying, because what was happening to us is people were arriving from all over and they're trapped. Yeah. By the time they got here, you can't get the cab. We couldn't get out of this way. We and I'm there like, like, you're stuck here. And so we sent them at the very last few people. We couldn't even get to the school because the water was over the guardrail. So yeah. they thought I was kidding. I said, drive to the top of the Cabot Road and park at the end of the pavement and sit there all night. I'm like, ha ha. I'm like, no, I'm dead serious. Because the road's washed out above and there's a mudslide. And then as she went up, the poor woman, that's when the flood came down. And oh I think I could hear her screaming in her car window. <laughs> so she thought I was kidding, but it, I wasn't. And uh, a, a, a totally unrelated comment, but since I stole the floor. <laughs> there are occasionally good sides to these catastrophes. The, to the best of my casual observation, the petty and not so petty thievery and drug trade in our part of Woodbury seems to be temporarily suspended. suspended. Really? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the user. I don't know what the users are doing, but they. Well, they on the EMS side, those. we've had an uptick in calls from people on withdrawal. Withdrawal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 so it's not all. It's not all good. It's not all good. Not all good. <laughs> so you didn't bring them. You couldn't bring them those drugs. Okay, we're uh, uh, running a little low on time, Miss Carol. Do you have one more I, comment I before we move on? Great. Talk about not <laughs> not great. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. We're going to move on really quickly. All right. Um, so we do need to talk about damage to the town office and town park. I think the town park we're going to leave alone, Yeah. to be honest, yeah. because we're going to have more damage right. in no time. Yeah. Right. Chuck, Chuck's not here, but he did offer to clean it to up. To clean it up. Just, you, you'll get a bill. Yeah. So if you yes. can talk to Chuck, you'll probably not a high priority. It's, I'm going to leave the town park alone. Because um, we're going to continue to use it for lots of different triage. What is the name of the town park? It's no name. It's a town park. It's called, the, it's called Stony Acres right now. No. <laughs> uh, all right. It needs to be dedicated. Sorry. 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 Miss Brandon. Uh huh. Would you like to describe some of the damage to the town office, please? Sure. Thank you. Um, when I arrived at the town office, um, there was a horrendous smell that, to me, smelled like propane, which we don't heat with propane. We heat with oil. Um, went in the basement. At that point, we probably had three to four inches of water um, on both sides. So there's a, a lip that goes into um, out of the furnace room and up into where we store tax maps and other stuff that, that um, got at least uh, at the end seven inches of water damage in the basement. Um, mm. We, I made umpteen million calls. Robin saved our you know what and was able to pick up two sub pumps that I purchased on a town account for the basement. Um, the fire department came, opened up, aired out. Um, the leak was pulling in um, an inch and a half. Did it stop? No, it's still, it's still trickling. Um, the leak is underneath the septic pipe. Um, it smells. It, um, so the, the, the sub pump that's in there now, um, there's still an inch and a half to two inches because the sub pump isn't created um, permanently. It needs to have a permanent hole put yes, in there so and, mm -hmm. and put to the outside of the building so this doesn't happen again. Um, yeah, so I have called, um, I contacted three cleaning companies and mm -hmm. none of them want to take on new customers you right can't now. Get surprise, surprise. Uh, surprise. Hence we're ripping out our own building. Yeah. So, so what was the extent of the damage to the town records? Was there um, none. There's a whole upstairs nothing. Downstairs there was a box of maps that um, and stuff on that anything that was on the floor downstairs is is on yeah. Maybe like some office supplies and things like that. It was 
There's, yeah. yeah. Document, document, but document, document. The sheetrock, it, it, yeah. It's the floor down there will have to be pulled up. Mm. I went downstairs when I stopped to print this stuff off. No, it's on Morte. Feel exactly. it, it's all punky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's on Morte. Plywood it was put it's in the finding, finding water, finding water damn it, contract, you might as well. And at hill. some point, I'm going to have to have somebody with strong muscles to go down there and move a bucket of water for me. I put that. Oh. No, well, I'm going to stick the sub pump in it and suck it out that way. That's all okay. I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be taken out, and I. Yeah. Well, maybe we can split our Saturday work day and if people shuffle have some people, people down to the town office. If we get extra people, we can send them down there. It's the same issue. Anything organic that's wet has to get removed. Or you'll get mold. Mm -hmm. And then the wood's organic, obviously, but you'll have to put fans and dehumidifiers. Mm -hmm. Right. And everything's pretty much wood. Is that I've got a couple of dehumidifiers coming, and we can move them over there when we're done. Mm -hmm. I don't know when they're going to get here, though. Well, let's see what happens if we have too many people. For we can split. We can split. Crews. We'll just end up piling it outside for now. We've got a dumpster we'll, coming. And we'll work it. I want to, to um, get in contact with um, a septic system to have it pumped to figure out um, what is the cause and why um, the runoff is, it, whether it's the overflow of the leach field. Um, but yeah. Okay. What well, would be like um, just a, I don't know, I'm just thinking of septic water and like tearing out stuff. What would be the thing yes, to do as far gloves. as gloves and N95 masks? So N95 gloves and N95 yeah. And probably safety goggles if you don't want poopy in your eyes. And the thing is, I mean, the town <laughs> office has no screens. So, um, no what? There's no screens on any windows. Oh, and the, so it's kind and of all the windows are open. So it's dang. been locked up during the day when we leave, we lock it up. Mm. Um, so it's got a funk. So it's got a funk. Mm -hmm. So is that, is the leak fixed at this point? No, it's still coming. Still, it's so still, it's still a seat. that would be the highest priority to mm -hmm. stop that. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's groundwater coming in through the septic tank. And it's going into the basement. Right. That's that's a leak. Well, then, I don't know if it's coming through the septic tank. We have no yeah. idea. The smell yeah. is coming from I'm somewhere. I'm saying it's a septic tank. I agree, I agree that that's a high priority. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's the sewer line that's leaving the building going into the tank. Yes. And it's got a yeah. hole in the very bottom of it. Mm -hmm. When right. it burns your nose when you walk into a building, it's nasty. And you don't eat the propane. That needs to be ASAP. I mean, whatever it costs. Right? And so you said the, the heating, so the boiler is probably the furnace. The furnace was underwater. Yeah. It was seven inches so downstairs. that'll have to be replaced, actually, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, they you say your insurance it, claim. Yeah. They say it depends on if it's propane or oil. What's the they difference? Say, I mean, if something is contaminated and the water is Because they tell me that with an oil furnace, they can remove all of the filters in there. The, regardless of that, it is allowed. We need to yes. stop the water. We need to stop the water and like address the leak, and then actually start to tear stuff down. So, uh, I agree with Alfie that that should be a really high priority. Mm -hmm. And we should start on Saturday. Paul, do you have gear available for people who are volunteering to help at the town office? I don't have Gloves? much of anything. No, okay. <laughs> now, most okay. of it went down the river somewhere. You probably didn't find it. Okay. <laughs> do you know of any resources where people could get that? Not unless we can get to Abishans. I will bring as much N95 gear as I can. Like in the firehouse, it's dry enough, so we just regular can't bring some gloves and mm -hmm. if you want eye protection. I'll, I'm just I, thinking of the town office. The town office, office is, is a little more yeah. dicey because uh, yep. Probably shouldn't do a lot down there until we get the water stopped. Stop. So okay. Yeah. Puddles of poop. Yeah. yeah, make sure you wear rubber boots. Yeah. yeah. I did not on that day. I had flip flops on. That's oh, okay. Oh, 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 I, I had sandals on and I changed into sneakers and they're now in the dumpster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have some priorities. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you, Robin. Um, I don't want to have this meeting go on too long. But Why? Because I actually am pretty worn out and I have things I have to do on my own. It's been one hell of a week. Um, especially like getting home. No offense, because I don't have a bridge out there. Um, Your driveway was washed out though. I saw that. His my driveway is gone. His driveway is gone. Yeah. gone. So is my bridge. So how are you actually getting back and forth across there? He's got rocks a little, he's got a little there are some plank. there's there's some there are a few rocks that we were able to move with a tractor on mm -hmm. some of the old beams yeah. so we can walk it. 
I want to know how you got your cars across. We don't. Yeah. Our cars are up at the top. Oh, they're still. Okay. Yeah, Anybody we stole. We stole. We stole. We stole a car um, from <laughs> somebody else, and that's that's what we have right I'm now. I'm an Uber <laughs> with no charge <laughs> anymore. Okay. Sounds good. Go. All right. Um, not to trivialize this, but I think that this conversation about FEMA and other resources for reimbursement is a conversation that we're going to have to have um, at our next meeting because there's a lot that we all have to actually deal with before we can get there. Michael? Info is coming out next week. Info is not going to be really available for us yeah. and for four days, as far as I've read. Four, we have four days. They told me to expect FEMA people next week sometime. Sometime. That's what I had read as well. So, please, Miss Diana, go ahead. I just wanted to make sure that Alfie knows to document everything. Yes, I am. Hi. Hey, you've been through this time. before, even before you were in Woodbury. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say, it's not easy. It's not fun. Yeah, it's I mean, really it's, difficult. I mean, they want they want every load of gravel, the location of that gravel, mm -hmm. and every hour that a machine was worked, mm -hmm. and the location of the road that you know, not just the road name, but the what section, a specific what section for road. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's yeah. So you're doing that. Best uh, uh, best I can. Best can. Right now, it's just on a notepad. You know, low, how many loads went where, yeah. and that okay. kind of thing. I've got one a notepad in each truck, and I'm asking the guys to write that down. So the they'll send just some FEMA people so here I, to help us. I would reiterate what Paul said. If anybody in the audience wants to help, help mm. with that documentation, yeah. I'll get the information. But it still needs to be like put on a spreadsheet. Yeah, there's or forms yeah. coming. There's something. lots of forms. Lots of coming. forms coming. Lots of federal forms. Mm. But not only that. Photos. We had to to have photos to back all this up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which I have for every road. For so every everybody's got a camera, camera, cell phone. So we're taking as much as we as can. We go. Right. Yeah. And I mean, if those guys have an iPhone or an Android, get spot locations. Is our is our emergency plan been approved? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because that'll stop us from filing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just have to say, can I? Yes. Go ahead, Ms. Okay. Carroll. <laughs> Quick. The red tape is supposed to be cut according to the governor. Sure. Oh. Yeah. 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 Sure. Is that a lie? Is that a lie? No. no. It's, we'll find out. Uh, yeah, we'll find out soon we'll enough. We'll find, find out. out. I've been down this road a few times, so a few of others. It's, yeah, it's, sure. it's, a, it's a process. Just, 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 just work, work through it. That's all we can do. We work through it. We the, end, the end result is usually okay. It's just it's not. It's going to it's going to take a, mm -hmm. a tough road to get there. Go ahead. Just we, it it might be a good time to hire somebody. If we could find somebody to hire to administer all this next couple months of paperwork. You Sounds know? great. I love but the I idea. Next, next week will be... Lindsay might do it. What? Let's let's get let's let's, let's, let's not quit skip into this when he's not. We're gonna skip right. Let's not talk to talk about skip while he's not here. All right. Yes, we can. Well, but we could ask him. Well, there we are can. people in town who are capable of doing that. Okay. And, you know, it's only for a couple of months, maybe. Well, no, it'll be longer. It'll be a much longer yeah. than that. Because you have okay. monthly sub recipient reports. Yeah, we're talking we're about sub -recipient we're talking about eight to. Uh, I bet you didn't even know sub recipient was a word. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> you said it. It's a word. Yeah, we're it's a job. I didn't file my quarterly report one time and found out. Well, how do don't yeah. do that. We already so have you don't owe me any money, but your grant is not closed yet, so you oh. need quarterly sub recipient reports to say you didn't do anything. Oh, okay. yeah. you don't do anything. It lasted for three or four years after Irene, I was filling out sub recipient reports. Yeah. Until they finally closed my grant, and the lady with the high heels showed up to mm. tell me that we were good. I'm yeah. going to put emergency planning off um, for probably another special meeting yeah. we have, though we do have a regular select board meeting next Monday, oh, which do? I'm sure a lot of this stuff will not next be Monday, but Monday. Monday following. Excuse so me. So we're not going to reschedule the one that we canceled. We're just going to skip over mm -hmm. to the next one? Well, that's why we were going to originally have one on Monday. Well. Yeah. Oh. To be honest, okay. um, which I would rather do. I'd rather have us meet again on Monday, and there's we'll so there's three, three weeks worth of stuff. Three weeks worth of stuff that we have not done. Correct. So I am going to put it out there right now that we are, we're going we are going to have a rescheduled mm -hmm. select board meeting for this coming Monday. We'll be here in the community room Can you at have six it p.m. The hall because the planning commission has the third Monday for their meeting Can here. Can you have it inside the, the library instead? 
I will be happy to have it at the, at the moment. I'll be happy to have it at the town hall. Well, just let us know because our stuff will get it moved around. So I think we'll we're, we're kind of using that. Or, as or the planning commission can decide not to meet, and, and you guys can have a room. I'm fine with that too. We, you know, uh, like, all right. we aren't dealing with burning issues. Yeah. Why so don't we just based not on Michael's okay. comment, right. based so on Michael's comments, will not meet. The planning commission will not meet. I wouldn't go oh. there anyway. Okay. So. okay. <laughs> right. No, I'm off the hook. So how was the septic and the water in the town hall? So I. Minash gratefully came. What today's Friday, right? Yeah. This is how bad my week. I don't. They came know. on Wednesday. They I think. came on. Was it Wednesday? It was Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday they came because Monday, Sunday through Tuesday seems like one day. Was it, yeah, so it was, it was Wednesday. Wednesday. I called Minash. They showed up. My our water treatment system is busted. I haven't cut it out, but the well pump is on. So you have water. Don't drink it. Okay. And the uh, septic is working at the fire station and the town hall. Okay. The fire department's toilet will be if you're not shy. After tomorrow, you can use the fire department. So other than that, I would use the town hall because you'll have it'll you know the water it'll be open walls. <laughs> if you're not shy, it's reverse European toilets. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be covered the lower end. Be like my dogs hiding with their head underneath the, the pillow, the rest of them sticking out. Chris, what's Monday's date? Uh, Monday will be the 17th. Thank you. So I'll get an agenda. You want it the same as the agenda for last week? Uh, we I would. I'd like to go back to our regular agenda, and we will also probably have on that list um, some FEMA issues that we can start to address. Yeah. Okay. Please. Okay. If so, possible, I would also like, Paul, if you could possibly this is be Monday, you said? This is Monday at 6 p.m. Yeah. Just send me the... Note. I will send you a link. i got to go to a fire in Greensboro. Monday, I got a Dover fire, fire Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm going to investigate yeah. my, so I haven't been able to do any of my insurance work this week. I gave up, I, I was supposed to be with the hazmat deployed <laughs> somewhere, but I stayed here because we needed, you need to be, I was needed and here, so I just gave that up this week. They were, the, we were, I could have been all over the state, but don't worry about it. Mr. Larry, would you be willing to be here at 6 p.m. on Monday as I'll well? Be here Monday. Thank you, sir. Yes. Would Appreciate you that. and you look at the agenda for the meeting that we Recently, we canceled and see if there's some things we can take off there for now. Sure, yeah, I'll take a peek. I doubt I'll have insurance updates then, but mm -hmm. I'm not expecting it. Yeah, maybe middle of next week. One question before yes, we all disappear uh, I have gravity feed spring water, totally fine, right? Should I be drinking no. that? If you get, no. so, so I would say this what FEMA told me is if you have surface surface water of any kind you should get it tested because yep. the, the mass of water anything could have gone in your spring. And they'll send you a they'll test, send you a send you test, test kit. kit for free. Uh, yeah, even if uh, I'm not going to drink the fire department's well until I have it tested, even though the cap seal, I don't want to know that it means some horrible smelling stuff okay. went down through their oil and yep. you know so it's all going water. it's all going to Lake Champlain. Burlington's yeah. going to be dealing with it for a while but oily nasty water when it, oh. it could yeah. be in our well. So. Anything that came down Kingsbury Branch well, you, you I, live water. Water. I live in the woods. There's more oil water. water. I think you should get the test kit water. and yeah. check it. Okay. That's my. You're probably pretty good, Carol, because there's not a lot of water yeah. above you. But look, look at me. I, mean, but I, I would still test. That's the recommendation. I, I mean, I really would test your water. It's safe and yeah, so I, I, I really would test your water. water. We I tested our water. We're okay. We have a subsurface well okay. upgraded from us, mm -hmm. but still. We have a well or a spring. We have a well. I'm, still I'm, I'm even getting the well tested that was underwater. I really would. Yes, I would. Absolutely. I would test, mm. test. and it's free. Yep. Don't okay. don't We're don't wait. Ours. Just do it. Might as well. A lot of water came through. Death. A lot of water a lot moved of water through this area. Through mm. How close is your spring to that beaver dam up there? What now? How close is your spring to the beaver dam up there? Far Chuck's up there. Chuck's up there. He is. He is right now. I noticed it did not breach. My beaver dam. Is intact. Yeah, I really would so, test your water. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll where do it. did all of the water come from that came down? Jarnus's that took out Jarnus's. No, no, that came down um, where Donnie Turgeon lives. Farm Town Road? Farm, Farm Town Road. Where did all that water come from? It comes basically from up gradient along that set of yeah. springs that are always active. There was a East. lot of flow of water, Robin. I don't, you know, those beaver dams up there always get blamed for flooding here. No, I just wondered where it was coming they from. Have bushes well, and they're so old, they're like totally entrenched yeah. in the roots. So it's what I saw like, being out at night, I was out all night, and water was running off hillsides like I've never seen. Like, nope. It's never it, flowed. It, I mean, it, it, was, it was surface water. Yeah. 
flow. It's, it's water water was just shooting off to, hillsides where there's no stream. Right, right. You, you don't have to remember, yep. and this is just not your Singapore person, but your geologist in town right. speaking. Yeah. Um, we've had a pretty wet yep. period. Mm -hmm. Right. Groundwater was saturated. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is no place for the water to go. Right. So yeah. surface right water surface. flow is very common during conditions like this. And so it's not where it's coming from, it's the fact that you're grading a significant amount of water really, really quickly. Seven you have right over hours. Hours. You have it's not yeah. just the water running into the future. Mm. Mm. I mean, the sponge has well, no. right. 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 the land is yeah. not over right. 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 There was unbelievable it coming down at 14. Yeah. Down in the southern hair area when I stopped there, it was just running off the side hill, just I don't want to. taking the road out. Yeah. Yeah. I never had my sandy garden most of all. Sand, <laughs> sand loves to suck up water. Tell me, my garden has been sitting there for months. It doesn't want to grow because it's been so wet. Oh, no, man. I'm not purposing anything. All right. Thank as you. As much as I love the colloquial discussion at this point. <laughs> oh. uh, we it's will continue to on. A lot of people yeah, great. Right. We we will have a meeting mm -hmm. Monday at 6 p.m. That's the 17th. Yeah. We have hold it in this room. Mm -hmm. Thank you for Planning for allowing us we'll for the planning commission to move over. <laughs> um, please address anybody on the select board with any other questions or concerns. We'll reach out to you if you if, you know. Give us a call. We'll make sure that we're in touch with road foreman and our and my number is posted our too. EOC if you chief. have an emergency medical fire issue, don't hesitate okay. or just call nine one one. If it, like things like propane smells, mm -hmm. arcing, sparking, just call nine one one. We'll get patients. Yeah, we'll, we'll get get we should recognize the fire department. We don't really have much of an emergency committee or director, but the fire department covers our ass. Yeah. We have it. Yep, but we'll recognize them again. All right, so with, excuse me. And I've been stopping into the office to check the phone messages. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we do have a plan, or we're going to start to put a plan together to document everything via the town office. We'll talk about that as no, fast as we can. Work. You'll have a lot more information for everybody by midday. By midday next week. Next week. Midday yeah. next week, there'll be a lot more stuff but out. We're, but we will meet next week. Please come. It's an open forum. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Yep. Motion to adjourn. I'm tired. Seconded. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Everybody grab a rock and head up. And let's go up. <laughs> <laughs>